All right, guys, I am back. And I think um, we just finished up those um, little flag or banner. That's what they are, right? Banners. Okay, so I think I'm going to decorate these up really quick. Um, or what I hope is quick. And I, like I said, I didn't, I didn't ink anything. Um, I'm also kind of, um, another reason I am doing everything but the cutting on video is, um, one, in case somebody hasn't seen it, which I'm sure they have, but I kind of was hoping to maybe, um, see how long it took me, um, to make a journal, just like a ballpark, um, because I think sometimes, um, and I, where that'll come in handy for me is if I kind of time, time it out, that'll help me like in the Etsy store know how to price things. Because I think sometimes, I, mean, I think we all, those of us that do sell, we kind of, we're not ever really sure how much to charge. Because obviously, you know, if we tried to charge for our time, everything we make would be like way too expensive and nobody would buy it. Right. Um, so a lot of times it's kind of hard to gauge, you know, well, if a project took you 10 to 15 hours to make, you know, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't charge somebody, you know, $400 for it or whatever, by the time you get the supplies in it, I'm not saying that these are, you know, that, but, um, you know, just, yeah, I'm sure some of you know what I'm trying to say. All right, so I do think I'm kind of going for, I don't want to say odd, but maybe a little bit odd. Um, um, just different. I guess odd's not the word, but I'm looking for different techniques with this journal. I want to try stuff that I haven't ever done before. So, yeah, we are just experimenting with this journal. Um, this is a, I guess, learn-as-you-go type of journal. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I can say about that. That's what we're, what I'm going for is just something, something different. And I don't know, it may turn out to be one of the cutest things ever. Who knows? Or it might just be like a total epic, mm, no, not any good type of thing. Okay. I don't even know what to talk about. <laughs> um, how many of you are ready for Christmas? I normally am this time, like by this time every year, like just like the last little bit of stuff um, to get is usually how I am, but I, I am not on it this year at all. I'm feeling kind of bad. I think I saw a Facebook post the other day that said there was like eight weekends left till Christmas. I was like, oh, oh, oh um, not good. Like, I think I have an idea of what um, we're doing for Christmas. Um, I don't actually have that many to buy because um, we do a lot of like gift exchange or like white elephant type exchanges um, at the family stuff. So, um, and all of Paul's family pretty much lives out of state now. So yeah, there's not, not much gift exchanging that happens then. 
Um, so yeah, um, I don't typically have that many to buy. So it usually doesn't take me that long. But normally I find stuff throughout the year to kind of save and put back, but certainly not this year. So I think what I'm kind of doing is just aiming for collage on these. Like I said, this is a total experiment. I have absolutely no idea if it's really going to turn out or not. So we're just going for it. Let's just do it. Um, thinking maybe one of these. Maybe we... So we'll leave the, another brown one out just in case we decide that that's what we like. I wonder yeah, if those are too big for that. Not too big. Let's try these. Oh, isn't that one cute? I don't know what they're doing, but oh, they're sneaking up on Santa. Mm. These are either yeah, these aren't big enough. I don't think. Let's see. But I think, did we decide these were too big? I think they are. Yep, these are too big. All right, so maybe these aren't going to work at all. Do, do, are these too big too? Too small. And those would be way too small. And truly, guys, if this isn't something you're interested in watching, please do not feel obligated to keep watching. I think you won't hurt my feelings if you turn it off now. Um, I just, I hadn't done this sort of thing before, so I thought it might be kind of fun to just kind of walk around in it. That so does not go. And the red one doesn't look that bad, but... All right, so maybe we're going to, maybe the labels are the problem for right this second. Not that they're a problem, but you know what I mean, like, design-wise. Let's see. Let's get out some of these definitions. Eggnog. Festive might be good. Uh, let's do those. Frankincense and myrrh. I was cutting them out. <laughs> Gracie. She's such a clown. She's like, murr. Murr. Kind of like a purr on a cat. I don't know. I don't know if you're if anybody else's kids are as goofy as mine, but I'm still not right. I will use those somewhere. I swear. I swear it will be so. We're going to quit second guessing and we're just going to do it. Like I said a minute ago, we're experimenting. So we're just going for it. I will say though, and I know I, I talked to Lisa or not Lisa, Lori, yesterday about it. Um, you know that it's like like you come from a cold climate 
when you've been stuck in a meat locker because it was cold here most of the week. And when I say cold, I mean with wind chill, it was like zero some nights. And so I was telling her, you, you know, you know something's wrong, basically, if you live in a meat locker and then all of a sudden 30 degrees seems warm, like t-shirt weather. Maybe I said 40, but yeah, that's how you know. That doesn't really change a whole lot, does it? But I will say this. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but, and I, I don't even, I think, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's like white kind of painted paper. Isn't that, doesn't that just make you mad? It's not even like full, full green anymore. It's like, what the heck? So yeah, when you put it through your dyes, you end up getting white edges. The kind of maroonish one isn't like that. I don't know. I think I'm going to dull that green down just a bit. I'm going to add a little bit of distressing here on this one too. Not a lot, just a little. I'll dull it down just so it's not quite so bright. Nothing like dirty snowflakes, right? All right, and I think I know what, where we're going with this one. Okay, again, I'm gonna make another little small pocket for some little tags. You know, I just got to thinking, um, I could resize some of those labels, make them like print them at five by seven size. I think I might like that. Maybe I'll have to do that tomorrow. All right, so what I'm thinking to kind of finish off these pockets, if I can get to it. And of course, that's the wrong box. I guess I should probably explain where I'm going with all this. And it's not in this box either. <sighs> really? I'm going to tell you, I have no idea where it is. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Alright, so what's interesting is that I need my gold bling, and it is nowhere to be found. Well, that's just dumb. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to the bling box. You're not going to believe what I just found. I literally just found the gold wrap. <laughs> After all of this, I think I need my craft room needs a detox and it needs to um, have a really, really, really thorough cleaning. Um, like where everything comes out of the cupboards. Because I kind of try to stay organized ish. But I have so much out right now and nothing's going back where it belongs, so. Which I think a lot of us do that. Our crafty brains just get to going. Yep, I think that's it for the for the bling wrap. And I don't think my Dollar Tree carries this gold anymore. Uh, last few times I've been in there, I haven't seen any. So, and we might not even like it anyways, so. 
Who knows? Nope, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I would, however, maybe like the green bee or um, the green bead ones. If I have green, I think I do. Hmm. How about that? Green right there. And since we're at it, let's pull out the red too. Oh, and I guess I could show you too. I am a lucky girl. So if you remember, Lori sent me this one. Uh-oh. And now that I said that, I bet you Grace has the other one. Nope, it's right here. Emily sent me. sent me this little guy so they both work great and I actually am really going to enjoy having two um, of, of these um, types of things um, because I sit for hours in the car regardless of what time of year it is um, with like different events for Grace so this will be spectacular um, to have this little guy and also the one that Emily sent because um, in a video you guys didn't get to see because it didn't um, again it's lost in the either um, this one has a little lip right here that you can use to get your stuff off the plastic like off the plastics or up off the thing and then it's also got the same wax concept as the other one okay so they both work great um, so it kind of depends on the one Emily sent comes in those diamond um, art packs. And then um, the one that Lori sent me is, um, uh, I'm not actually sure exactly who make, oh, uh, We Are Memory Keepers is who, who makes this one. I guess if I were using my tool, right? Isn't that what that's there for? Right? There we go. And no worries though. Well, do I clear? Okay, so it's odd and I kind of like it. Kind of straight to the point. Okay, and then we're going to put the red on the frankincense. Same exact spot-ish. So yeah, super excited. So really either will work. I will say one nice feature this one has over this one is it is like kind of sharper down there. So that is a little, a little helpful, but not necessary at all. Okay. Okay, I like those. They're a little odd, but yet I kind of like them. Okay, so yep, um, back to these. They both work great, and thank you, thank you both of you very much for sending me those. I really appreciate both of them. So yep, and I, um, yeah, like I said, one will stay at the house and one will go with me on the road. So um, not that I do a ton of beating in the car because we all know how that would turn out. Um, but there is times where I need those kind of things in, in the car. And so it will come in very handy to have two of them. Um, that is if I can keep Grace out of that one that Emily sent me. All right. So how many does that make? We have two upper tucks, two corner pockets, 
And then we made one of the Tim Holtz. All right, we better just go back to this. And I don't think I don't I don't want that label on there. So I'm thinking one of these and another one of these definitions or yeah, we're just going to do a definition. We're going to keep it simple. Um, that's how about Christmas? Christmas works good. Because I really want to get onto tags and other embellishments because I got a couple ideas. Um, I don't know if you guys watch her Crafty Cat. She is pretty cute. Um, she had a really cool, she did this thing, um, I think it was last week with this metal tag and metal stamping, which I don't have any of that kind of thing. So, um, but she made it with this metal tag and then like a little gem and it was really cute, really, really cute. So yeah, um, we're going to try to do, I obviously, I don't stamp metal or anything like that. So we're going to try to kind of do a, a little bit of a recreation of it. We'll see how it turns out. And then I do have, and I think it might actually kind of match the theme down in my little bling box here. I've got these really cute Christmas tree stamps. They're kind of blingy. It was one of those after Christmas sales like two or three years ago. And I don't know. I don't know about you, but sometimes you just can't say no. And I thought they were cute. I think it might kind of match in there. trying to think about exactly when I would have gotten these and I think it was every bit of a year or two ago yeah it must have been like almost two years ago because Paul was with me and him and I together shopping is never a good idea one time we went out on a date night because we hadn't gone on a date in like years and um we came home with two new cars, so yeah, we don't, we should not have date night ever. Or maybe we should have it more often and then we wouldn't, we wouldn't do that. But, um, we had already planned to buy new cars, um, because both of the cars we were driving were like literally on their last breath. And that's kind of what we do is we don't, um, We drive whatever we have till it dies, pretty much. Um, and so, yeah, those those two cars were on their last legs. Um, in fact, we actually still do have um, his old work car, which is actually what I drove when my car was in the shop. Um, but, yeah, it's still, it's, I mean, it's held up a lot. It went made it through a tornado. Um, of course, it totaled the car. Um, not in drivable total, but, yeah, it's, it's really ugly. Um, but you know what? If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Um, but yeah, anyways, and he was commuting um, quite a distance for a while, so that's why he got his. And then I got mine because, um, yeah, my Jeep was, um, it had been, I got rear-ended, and then I hit a deer, and it was just never the same after that. And so a Jeep enthusiast bought it, loved it. So yeah, it's in a happy home of Jeep owners. Um, so yeah, there's that. And I'm getting to the point now where I don't need the mom car. It's just way too big. So I don't know. We may trade it off, but I don't know about you guys, but kind of the same thing with like our crafting tools, your car kind of just becomes a part of you. Um, yeah, I, you know, as simple as that is, I think I really, really like it. So yeah. Yeah, it's simple, but I like it. Um, I think sometimes simple is better. Okay. And I have probably like bored you to tears tonight. Okay. 
All right, so that does it for the pockets. I think the next episode is going to be with the tags um, and maybe the envelope because we have a big envelope. And then I want to decorate these little boarding passes a little bit, I think. Maybe some stamping. But I think like a cluster might look good on that. I'm not sure. Like I said, we're just playing. All right, we'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.